Hello students, so up until previous class we learnt about um, Lyapunov exponents and uh, stretching and contracting property of, uh, of the interval where uh, you can choose um, uh, this uh, x1 which lies uh, in the neighborhood of x0 uh, that means the another initial condition so that uh, you do not get the exponential uh, divergence. We will continue the discussion and uh, today we will talk about uh, strange and chaotic attractors right. So, we will uh, start with the motivation behind these two uh, types of attractors and then we will see um, uh, further uh, uh, properties related to it. So, um, we defined uh, this um, Lyapunov exponents for one dimensional and uh, higher dimensional uh, equations. So, basically um, I mean instead of so instead of one dimensional equation instead of one dimensional uh, equations. So, instead of one dimensional um, interval sorry interval um, one can study let me put it in words. So, one can study uh, the behavior behavior of uh, higher dimensional neighborhoods dimensional neighborhoods NBDS uh, neighborhoods of x0 right. So, that means if you have a system of equation uh, under the dynamics of the system under the that means uh, whatever dynamics the system is following um, you can go from uh, one dimension to higher dimension and we have also defined the Lyapunov exponent for higher dimension as well of this system right of this system. So, basically um, it, it turns out that the stretching and contracting and contracting phenomena of these uh, of these uh, neighborhoods right neighborhoods are completely completely characterized character uh, by the Lyapunov exponents by the Lyapunov exponents uh, defined by defined in the previous uh, section or discussion. So, whatever way we have defined it um, for one dimension you can go to higher dimension and the stretching or contracting will be determined completely by the Lyapunov exponent that we have already seen before uh, in the previous section. Now, the volume if you go from so if you are in one dimension then you are basically getting the length right. If you are going from one dimension to higher dimension uh, then in that case you can talk about uh, the volume of these neighborhoods right. Um, so, the volume um, v k of an arbitrary arbitrary chosen k dimensional k dimensional where k is less or equal to n neighborhood k dimensional neighborhood of x 0 uh, behaves. So, x 0 is the initial condition behaves uh, like uh, v k i is equals to v 0 uh, v at 0 that means, uh, the neighborhood uh, v at 0 uh, into e to the power that means exponential i times summation uh, j running from 1 to uh, k real part of uh, lambda j conjugate for i tends to infinity right. From this so, when i tends to infinity in the sense uh, this will be um, taken in the sense of limit. So, uh, we can put a dot the way we have defined earlier and uh, 
from this we conclude we conclude that a map is volume preserving volume preserving that means the volume does not change when this part is zero right um, is volume preserving if that means if this part is zero then you will have e to the power zero so basically um, if you are going from uh, one dimension to higher dimension your vk is always equals to v0 right so basically uh, for that vk equals to v0 you need to have this quantity equals to 1 and that will happen only when you have this summation j running from 1 to k uh, real part of lambda j bar equals to 0 right where we assume uh, comma where we assume that the Lyapunov exponent lambda j conjugate to be independent of x0 to be independent of the choice of x0 and uh, the volume preserving systems the volume preserving systems are called conservative systems systems are called conservative system conservative systems for example hamiltonian system they are conservative system right and um, uh, systems with if the real part of with real part of lambda j conjugate less than 0 summation j running from 1 to k if it is less than 0 then ok then um, they are called are called dissipative are called dissipative system dissipative systems for these systems for these systems uh, the volume of the phase space of the phase space is contracting on average is contracting on average that means uh, the similar property we saw for one dimension that when lambda is less than 0 you have a contraction when lambda is greater than 0 then we have a stretching or extension you can say so similarly if you are going from um, uh, one dimension to higher dimension then if that summation is less than 0 then you have a contraction and if you have uh, it, it greater than 0 then you have a uh, extension or stretching if you, if you if you want to call and when it is actually equal to 0 then you have a conservative system right uh, so they are called as uh, dissipative and they are contracting on average dissipative system dc so i just wanted to define dissipative system dissipative systems converge to an attracting uh, to an attracting set that is a proper subspace a proper subspace of the phase space of the phase space and uh, dissipative system with dissipative dissipative system with uh, a real part of lambda j conjugate greater than 0 for at least 1 j are called uh, at least 1 j converge uh, uh, sorry um, dissipative system with uh, for at least 1 j 
uh, for at least uh, dissipated system with runway for at least one j converge to uh, so called chaotic attractors chaotic attractors right attractors which uh, we introduce in the next section which we will introduce next which we will introduce next introduce next and uh, dissipative system dissipative systems that converge to periodic attractors periodic uh, attractors attractors have real part of lambda j conjugate equals to 0 for some j that means it could be for 1 j or for more than 1 j for some j and uh, real part of lambda j conjugate um, less than 0 for the other ones for the other ones other ones sorry other ones and uh, dissipative system so these are all definitions or terminology you can say dissipative systems um, with real part of lambda j conjugate is less than 0 for all j converge to point attractors right point attractors all right so we got the definition of a a conservative system dissipative system uh, chaotic attractors and point attractors now what do we mean by this uh, strange and uh, chaotic attractors right so um, let us give in the previous section i wanted to give uh, equation number so i will give this as equation number 1 this as equation number 2 this as equation number 3 just for the sake of reference okay so um, from equation 3 we know uh, we know that dissipative systems was it equation number 3 or uh, yes we know that dissipative system systems uh, satisfy uh, the condition real part of summation j running from 1 to uh, k real part of lambda j conjugate less than 0 this we know from there and uh, those systems and uh, those systems those systems are space contracting are space contracting as time evolves right as time evolves this implies that so basically this implies that what does this imply this implies that as uh, this implies that an orbit an orbit uh, starting from 1 uh, I, I starting from 1 sorry uh, starting from an arbitrary point an arbitrary point will not visit certain parts will not visit certain parts certain parts of the phase space of the phase space after some transient time 
obviously so since you have a dissipative system real and uh, such that this condition holds true so basically for those systems you have space contracting that means uh, your original neighborhood or uh, whatever you have started with once uh, you have this um, labon exponents based on which you can determine your um, uh, your neighborhood around x0 and those are actually uh, uh, contracting basically okay? all right and um, it gives you an idea that uh, uh, if you start from a certain point uh, uh, and uh, if you have an orbit which starts from a certain point or a certain arbitrary point that means in the phase space it will not come back to the same point right um, so this basically tells us that uh, we have a dissipative system uh, where uh, you have a contracting uh, neighborhood right and uh, in, in that neighborhood uh, you if you start with uh, any orbit then basically it will not come back to the same phase space uh, I mean uh, or it will not visit the certain parts of the phase space uh, that is why we have in case of uh, if you have these um, if you study the stability of uh, the system of equations or let us say um, uh, this uh, pre predator model then you get this uh, nice phase space diagram there or there we can uh, see these properties or even in case of Lorentz system we can see uh, these uh, uh, orbits that we determine uh, it, it is not coming back to the same space space right um, now um, this phenomena uh, this phenomena um, is clearly so I am writing everything down so that you have a nice note also uh, this phenomena is clearly uh, present in the vicinity in the vicinity of asymptotically asymptotically stable stationary point stationary point right how do we determine the stationary point so you have let's say dx dt equals to some f of x or f1 of x and uh, dy dt equals to some f2 of x comma t so you basically um, uh, you make f1 of uh, x comma y comma t equals to 0 and f2 of x comma y comma t equals to 0 and from there you determine the value of x and y right and uh, that is basically your uh, stationary point. So, wherever dx dt and dy dt they are vanishing those are your uh, stationary point and uh, we can check the stability around those uh, uh, stationary points uh, or equilibrium points some people call equilibrium points some people call stationary point. So, you can check the stability around those equilibrium points and uh, uh, we can see how these um, uh, dissipative how the behavior of these dissipative systems are characterized with the help of Lapunov exponents right and uh, yeah asymptotic and stable periodic solutions yeah and all orbits all orbits uh, starting um, in the basin of the attraction of the attraction of such solution of such solution converts to it right converts to it and uh, basically uh, here we are interested here we are interested interested in dissipative system in dissipative systems with solutions or periodic solutions with solutions uh, which do not converge which do not converge to point solution. all periodic solutions all periodic solutions right so this gives a motivation to define our um, 
periodic, uh, sorry, um, uh, our strange and chaotic attractors. So, first definition is uh, a subset capital X uh, of the phase space. So, as I, as I was saying, uh, saying to you that if you have a system of equation could be let us say uh, pre predator model or uh, this um, uh, ep this uh, epidemiology model or SAR model what we call. Um, uh, we have or, uh, this Lorentz equation. So, we have this uh, system of equations based on which uh, you can get the phase space and uh, basically we are saying that you have a subset x of the phase space right. Um, which we are denoting it by x. So, a subset x of the phase space is an attractor is an attractor for some OD if we call it an attractor of some OD or of the given OD if uh, number one property is x is invariant that means x is not changing with respect to time x is invariant that is uh, solutions of the ODE solutions of the ODE with initial value initial value in x remain in x. So, if the solution is starting within this subset, um, then it will remain in that subset, right? It will not go outside. Of course, the uh, initial value has to be also in that subset x. So, that is what we mean by invariant and uh, there exist, uh, there exist a neighborhood of x, uh, the basin of attraction, the basin of attraction such that uh, such that orbits starting uh, in the basin in this uh, in this basin converts to x. Right, and third property is X is connected. Right, so X is connected. Okay, now um, uh, these are the three properties for a subset of a phase space to be characterized as a char uh, attractor uh, of the given ODE. Now. Um, we will continue. So, this is the definition, we will continue the discussion. Um, furthermore, or note that furthermore, x cannot be decomposed, be decomposed into smaller attractors attractors. So, on one hand on uh, one and the one and the same uh, system can have different attractors different attractors and uh, the number and types of attractors may strongly depend on the uh, depend on the uh, value of one or more parameters right obviously because the parameters value will determine the 
type of phase space right or this x which is the subset of the phase space right and uh, if the attractor so basically uh, so basically if the attractor if the attractor type suddenly changes suddenly changes when parameter passes a critical uh, value then this phenomena then this phenomena is called bifurcation is called bifurcation bifurcation so for example for example the logistic growth model logistic growth model you know dx dt equals to r times 1 minus uh, um, x, k, x by k so that is the logistic growth model has logistic growth model um, has a lot of bifurcation points a lot of bifurcation points right and uh, whether bifurcation points and moreover an attractor an attractor is called strange is called strange strange if its dimension is fractal that means it is non integer right so this is um, what we mean by the uh, strange attractor or uh, um, fractal uh, this um, fractal attractor in a way that means uh, its dimension is basically a non integer so it could be a fraction and um, um, an attractor an attractor an attractor is called chaotic is called chaotic if the largest if the largest R G E S T largest um, Lyapunov exponent Lyapunov exponent of the solutions of the solutions of the given ODE of the given ODE ODE is positive is positive at nearly all points of x all points of x so uh, an attractor is called chaotic first of all we saw the attractor definition then it is called strange if its dimension is factor and it is called chaotic attractor if the largest Lyapunov uh, exponent of the solutions for the given ODE is positive at nearly at all points in um, of the subspace x right so then it is called as um, chaotic attractor so this implies that basically so this implies uh, that uh, on a chaotic attractor on a chaotic attractor attractor two randomly chosen randomly chosen uh, randomly chosen orbits which are nearly close which are nearly or initially sorry which are initially close which are initially close 
will diverge exponentially will diverge exponentially exponentially as time evolves so it is as tough as though it is as though the orbits it is as it is as though the orbits repel each other orbits repel each other right so this is what we um, mean by chaotic and strange attractor so in this um, lecture i just wanted to uh, start with the uh, lapunov exponent from wherever uh, we uh, from wherever we left in the previous class and uh, then we introduced the definition of uh, conservative and a dissipative system and from dissipative system we motivated the idea of uh, attractors and uh, how we define the strange or what do we mean by strange and chaotic attractor we'll look into uh, one or two examples in the previous class and then we'll move to um, uh, further topics uh, that is a fractal dimension and all that in in this chapter so i thank you for your attention and i'll see you in the next class